This is Mark Grover here reporting in San Francisco. President Hoover is being blamed for all these Hoovervilles behind me. And today I am with Rebecca Friend who lives in Hooverville. So Rebecca, how long have you been living in Hooverville? I've been living here for 20 years. Okay. Do you have a home? No. Why don't you have a home? The reason I don't have a home is because President Hoover used all the money in the war. So I lost my job, my home, and people stole all my food and medicine. So I'm sick and starving now. Okay. And now reporting with Leah with, with the entertainment update. Hello, my name is Brandon, and I'm here with Rebecca from the Bread Lines. Rebecca, what would you like to tell us from the Bread Lines? The Bread Lines aren't the normal lines. These lines are so long, the Bread Lines go to the corners of buildings. And sometimes when they run out of bread, they start out to give out chicken noodle soup. And when they run out of soup, they will close everything, and the people will not get, get any food until the next day they will start. The thing that really gets on my nerves is the government takes people's money just for the bread lines project for the poor people. That's all. Thank you, Rebecca. I am Rebecca Friend outside of Midwest City, Oklahoma, where right behind me is a huge dust storm, as you can see. This storm is nine miles away from me, and this storm is the biggest one yet. The wind, as you can see, is going 200 miles per hour. So everyone, lock your doors and hide. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? I see people are driving in the storm. This is outrageous. I would not recommend doing this because you could get just swept right up from this. And now I know I wouldn't want that to happen to me. Wow, now the speeds are 290 miles per hour. And this is getting crazy. If you need help, please call 1-800-979-2433 because they will provide a safe place for you to stay. And it is very low price. It's only one cent. Now I'm the only one mile away. Be safe and hide. Now back to Brandon with Red Lodge. Awesome. Good morning, Pittsburgh, PA. It's your local morning station. Today's topic is entertainment in 1920 through 1927. The type of entertainment we have is going to plays and movies that we can actually see and hear. We also have TV with some sound, and we can listen to the radio from a lot of different places. It's so cool that just a few years ago, we didn't have anything at all. We really only had was the TV and radio. But we have baseball play, baseball games, plays, and movies. It's making a big impact. The main baseball player that was a big entertainer was Babe Ruth. Entertainment is such a great thing nowadays. My name is Louisa. Coming with breaking news, the stock market has crashed. United States of America is in a, is in a difficult time. The stock market has crashed, and the economy is going to go down. But Franklin D. Roosevelt believes that he can do it and it's going to be fixed. Franklin D. Roosevelt has made programs to give people jobs and money. In the first three months after Roosevelt's inauguration, Congress passed. Many of President Roosevelt's New Deal's plan those days, be plan, those days became known as the 100 Days. A lot of people don't believe, believe and have faith. Do you believe in him? Thank you and have a great day.